The Togian Islands, where every moment is a peaceful heaven of calm and joy. Miles away from the urban hustle, these remote islands offer a peaceful retreat, surrounded by lush greenery and the soothing melody of gentle waves. Welcome to paradise, the Togian Islands. We are here on this cute little island which is called Malenge and we are going to stay here for five nights. Here are some information you should know before you come here. So first of all, there is no service and no Wi-Fi over here. And you will have electricity only four hours each day from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. There are no restaurants and no shops, so you will be having food at your resort, like for example, breakfast, lunch and dinner. So that's it for now and let's start exploring. find yourself immersed in a secluded paradise. It really gives you the feeling of being in the jungle. The absence of bustling crowds ensures an intimate connection with nature. This is what paradise really looks like. This is our cute little bungalow and it is right in front of the beach. I would say let's go inside and make a room tour. Here outside is my favorite place at a hammock. Let's go inside. So this is our bed. And let's go to the bathroom. So this is something you really have to get used to it because it's different, but it's not bad at all. Like you really get used to it. So you can't flush. You always have to put water in a bucket. It is 8.30 in the morning and we got ready for snorkeling. We're going to reef two and five because they say these are the most two beautiful ones over here. And at reef five, you can even spot some black tip sharks. heading to a village which is a bit further away from here a little bit over an hour and if you have a drone take it with you because behind the village it looks similar to Raja Ampat from above This day was very special and emotional to me. I love being there with the little ones and play with them. This entire village is built on stilts. The whole time I spent with the kids, they were talking and begging for notebooks. We bought all the books available in the stores for them, but there weren't many at all. So if you are planning to visit this village and you want to surprise the kids, you may buy books and pens before coming to the Togians. They will be super happy by the surprise. Salamat pagi everyone! Today is going to be an exciting day because we're going to swim with jellyfishes. There is a big lake an hour from here with plenty of jellyfishes which do not stink. And right next to the big lake there is also a beach where you can go snorkeling. It was an amazing experience. We stopped at the remote beach right next to the jellyfish lake for lunch and to relax before going snorkeling here.
We're heading to a cute little village which is just 20 minutes from here. They live traditionally in villages built on stilts over the coral reefs. So let's go and check this out. What I really love about this place, you connect with nature and people to the fullest. Having breakfast, lunch and dinner together every day and playing games in the evening. It's a place where you can really feel free. Waking up to this view, to this calmness at the beach, brings a sense of serenity and a promise of a peaceful day ahead. And now, let's go snorkeling right in front of our bungalow for the last time here. Our time here on Atogan Islands is coming to an end. Our last night here was incredible. We seen plankton for the very first time at the beach and went all together for a night swim. We had a bonfire while playing the guitar and singing together. It was so beautiful. I've never felt this peaceful before. We took an overnight ferry from Gorontalo, which goes only twice a week, every Tuesday and Friday at 3 p.m. The time changed, it used to be 5 p.m., but be sure to check with your hotel or homestay for the correct information. The manager of our homestay took care of everything. We stayed in Gorontalo for one night at Harry and Mimin homestay, and they were so helpful in organizing the trip, getting us the tickets, providing the correct schedule, and taking us to the ferry. Same goes for leaving the island. The manager from the place you're staying at will take care of the transportation and organize a boat for you. It's going to be a long trip, but it's so worth it. We'll take the ferry in Gorontalo, which will take 12 hours to get to Vakai Island. This is the main port on the Togian Islands. Here, you will transfer to a boat that will take you to your final destination. In our case, Malenge. This took another two hours to get there. The locals at Vakai were already waiting for us in front of the port. The manager of our homestay in Gorontalo organized it, so they knew we were coming. We paid 65,300 rupiah per person for the ferry from Gorontalo. From Wakai to Malenge by boat, we paid 250,000 rupiah per person. Additionally, there was an entrance fee of another 250,000 rupiah per person for entering the Togan Islands, which is a nature reserve. <laughs> 